Now joining us for everything in Hollywood is Rosario Chavarria Valdez. What's the latest, Miss Rosie? Hello, Metro. Welcome to another scandalous, juicy, fun-filled segment of Entertain Met. I'm Rosario, bringing you the 411 on all the latest Hollywood and local gossip. Get ready for Hollywood's biggest night. It's time for the Oscars once again. This year, Billy Crystal returns for his ninth time to host the 84th Annual Academy Awards. Tune in this Sunday, February 26th on ABC to see all your favorite celebrities. Tom Hanks, Angelina Jolie, and Holly Berry are among the presenters. And next week, join entertainment for FBI. We will give you the inside scoop when we patrol the red carpet and pick out the best and worst dressed for the night. Let's see which celebs are nominated this year. And Adele is one of the most talked about artists, especially because she seems to win, well, pretty much every award she's ever nominated for. But now everyone is talking about her because of a scandalous situation. She recently went through a little snip and cut through surgery for her vocals, so I guess it was at her for her best interest to be cut off at the Brit Awards. After being honored with Best Album at the Brit Awards in London, this beloved superstar barely started her acceptance speech when host James Corden totally cut her off to introduce 90s British pop band Blur. The crowd booed and Adele did this, flung the middle finger up. She later told BBC, quote, That was for the suits at the Brit Awards, not my fans. I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but the suits offended me. End quote. Corden, the comedian who hosted the show later said, I can't believe I was told to cut off the amazing Adele at the end. End quote. I think everyone will think twice before they cut off Adele during her acceptance speech. Well, it's a small world after all. Isn't Disney supposed to be the happiest place on earth? It seems like Justin Bieber was caught having a bad weekend. Poor kid just wanted to have fun and meet Mickey, but in a new video making its way around the internet, two giggly fans of the young singer spotted him on a ride at Disney World with his father and girlfriend, Selena Gomez, and told the artist they followed him on Twitter. His apparent response, F you. What could have sparked this unfortunate behavior, especially from a celebrity well known for accommodate, accommodating his fans? Who knows? But someone's going to get a mouthful of soap and get grounded. Ever since rumors started about Rihanna and Chris Brown musically reuniting, fans have been shaking their heads in total shock. The public is just not having it, and most don't like this idea. But after rumors of a Rihanna and Chris Brown collaboration began circulating the internet last week, some questions, some question why Rihanna would do such a thing in the first place. The mo though most uh, disapprove of this collaboration, surprisingly, the remixes Birthday Cake and Turn Up the Music have been well received, according to Ian Drew, Us Weekly Senior Editor for Music. Guess we will have to wait and see what happens. Hope it's not another repeat of what happened once before. Actress Jennifer Aniston, best known for her role as Rachel in the classic comedy Friends, has got a star on Hollywood Walk of Fame, February 22nd. Her star is the number 2,462. Aniston joked and commented, it seems surreal, sur considering all the, the time she spent walking the streets of Hollywood Boulevard. But she quickly added she wasn't walking the streets, of, the streets in that way. We congratulate Aniston on her achievements and wish her the best in her coming up film, Wonderlust, opening today. And it looks like Hollywood has decided to keep it real for once. The movie act of Valor starts active duty Navy SEALs instead of actors and tells the story of five acts of Valor weaved into one plot. Although the screenplay is fictitious, the events portrayed are based on real life situations experienced by the SEALs within the last 10 years. The movie doesn't use any computer graphics and all of the operational planning was done by the SEAL teams making the depiction even more realistic. Directors Mike McCoy and Scott Waugh could not have said it better themselves. We don't have stars in our movie. We have heroes. Actor Valor starts today in theaters. I caught the premiere last night at 12 a.m. It was a must-see film. And that's going to do it for entertainment. I'm Rosie, back to you on desk. And I don't know about you, but I love award season, so I'm super excited for the Oscars. And I love Jennifer Aniston. I absolutely love her. You gonna go see the movie? Oh yeah, for sure.